Okay, so uh, this video is going to be about um, Gibson Les Paul Studio Smokehouse Burst 2018 Limited Edition. Uh, is something special going on with the Smokehouse Burst Studios from 2018. I'm talking about the limited edition with the binding on the neck and all that kind of stuff. We're going to do an in-depth uh, review, take apart, investigate what that guitar is all about. Let's go ahead and do this. Now, this guitar did not come with this uh, case right here. It did come with a soft case, so I had to buy this extra. So that's kind of like a bummer for such an expensive guitar, even though back in 2018. So this is guitar I'm talking about here. Uh, look at this high gloss, super uh, great finish right here. It looks awesome. So, um, yeah, that's uh, pretty much what it is. Let's go ahead and take it on the bench and see what it's all about. But first, we're gonna go ahead and see what's in this. Okay, we have a strap right there. Uh, we have uh, nothing in there. We have a Ziploc bag with the typical stuff right there. Also, we got the, the photo that comes from the factory right there. We have a checklist and you know, all that kind of stuff going on there. Got a poker chip. And also we got a bag of some sort. I know uh, that this guitar came with a multi-tool as well. So, yeah, that's pretty much what it is, guys. And uh, the case itself is just, uh, this is, uh, what is it? Oh, yeah, made in Canada. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, here we have the guitar on the bench here. Uh, the Gibson Les Paul Studio 2018 Smokehouse Burst 2018 model. Whew. Uh, now, oh yeah, authentic. Yeah, you see that? This is authentic. Just like Mark Agnesi told us a couple of years ago, some years ago, play authentic. Now, uh, this has a mahogany body, um, it has a maple top, and it, uh, you know, this, this top is fantastic. I don't know how well this shows up on the camera, but it's, it's phenomenal high gloss finish. Now, this is uh, the 57 Classic. Uh, supposed to be, I never took this guitar apart, supposed to be 57 classic pickups. Um, nowadays, this type of guitar, this Smokehouse Burst, does not come with that. So, uh, what we're gonna go ahead and do is um, to uh, take the guitars off. And uh, no, take the guitars off. I mean, taking the strings off. We're not gonna take the the guitar off the guitar. And there we go. Um, taking the tailpiece off here, which uh, seemed to be, um, this is aluminum, and it said um, advanced plating, like it's used to, like it is on almost every Gibson nowadays. Putting that aside. Uh, we have a um, bridge right here. It doesn't say really anything. This is just a quite common bridge, I do believe. Um, yeah, we got the... Uh, this is kind of like standard bridges now. We have the, the post, so to speak, with the uh, Allen key right there. Allen key, you can adjust it with Allen key. So I'm interested in this. So let's just go ahead and uh, take apart this and see what it's all about.
There's a really snug fit to these. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but when I got this guitar, the the pickup pick uh, frames, um, you know, the, these are kind of like bent a little bit. You can see this, you see that? It doesn't look good at all. It's kind of like, well, yeah, that's this one. Let's go ahead and take this one. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, see what the pickups are. Um, let's take this one up here. Now, this is... Um, can you see this? Okay. That's a 57 plus right there. And uh, you see the date right there. Now, let's uh, put this very carefully to the side here. Don't want to damage the guitar at all. Take a look at this one right here, uh, which is... Um, we're going to take a closer look here. Now, this is uh, what it's looking like right here. That's a 57 plus right there. And that's a 57. Now, these, are, these pickups are based from the uh, 50s type of pickup uh, the output is um, low to medium i will say and these guitars nowadays actually has um, i think it's 490r and a 498t or something like that a little bit hotter than these pickups however i'm not a very big fan of these gibson pickups at all i'm more kind of like an emg guy i must say so uh, let's have a look in the cavities here uh that's uh kh i have no idea what that is and uh, you can see that it's uh definitely a short tenon on this guitar which uh, it is on uh, i should say most uh, studios i know there is a few studios uh that has um, the longer tenon so that's kind of interesting to see. However, we can also see uh, where the um, the top uh, is uh, glued on to the mahogany right there. Now, this is um, the other pocket right here. Um, let's go ahead and see LPST18. That must be Les Paul Studio 18. I do believe so. I think it's looking fantastic. I mean, this is what, what a Gibson should look like, actually. However, we have some dent here in the routing cavity. Must be some error with the CNC or something like that. Uh, we don't see that on, on any of the others, however. So uh, this is looking great so far. And uh, right here, oops, right here we have the, uh, what's making this uh, pretty much a limited edition right here is, uh, this is, um, you have some binding here. Also fantastic uh, fret and binding right there. Uh, I never seen that on a studio before. So that's kind of cool. And uh, the fretboard seems to be a little bit dry. You know, I haven't done anything with this guitar since I bought it in 2018. So uh, that's uh, what it is. And this actually was when I bought the guitar from the factory. This uh, was some dents here. That's a minor flaw, I know. Uh, the nut is uh, a tusk nut. No, it's not. It's a tectoid nut or what the hell is called. Um, nowadays, you don't get this kind of knot on this guitar. It's uh, something else. I can't remember what it is, but it's, it's not this material right here. So, and the binding is, uh, you know, I think it's uh, the binding is fantastic. Uh, what else do we have here? We have the, oops, 
we have uh, the headstock right here. Uh, this is, uh, you know, the typical what you see right here. There's no nothing special in here as far as I'm concerned. What you can see, there's no, you know, initials or, you know, a person's name or anything like that. So, yeah, that's basically what it is. And you have the typical studio uh, logo, silk screen logos right here. So, uh, no, that's not, uh, yeah, silk screen, yeah, that's, that's what it is. And uh, there's no, sh no poker ship here, because that one is loose in the case. So, yeah, that's pretty much what it is, guys, so far. And uh, this is uh, rather interesting, because this is the only guitar, uh, I think, as a studio during these years, that has this uh, uh, classic 57s pickups. Uh, for those of you who are playing uh, kind of like blues and that kind of stuff, I think these pickups might be good. And of course, we gotta check the nut width. That is 43.27 millimeters. Inch, that would be 1.7025. Yeah. Forty three point nineteen, yeah. Yeah, just around there. Now we gotta take a look on the first fret. Uh, this is a slim taper neck right neck profile right here, so without scratching the back of the lacquer of the back of the neck, let's go ahead and do it like this. It's uh, yeah, 20.59 millimeter, or if that would be an inch, uh, 0 0.8105, that is. Pretty similar to a uh, 60s neck profile. Let's take a look on the 12th fret right here. Trying to do the same. We have 22.53 millimeter an inch that will be 0 0.887 that is very very similar to a 60s uh, 60s neck profile right there also we have this uh, um, acrylic inlays right here now uh, this is uh, this is not mother of pearl uh, it's actually acrylic so that's um, that that's kind of cool and this is a rosewood fretboard, by the way, 12 inch. Uh, these are uh, small jumbo frets right here. You know, it's uh, a little bit bigger frets than usually, but uh, nothing to compare to the super jumbos. These are small jumbo frets. Now, this is what I'm talking about here. You see this right here? That's not really good. And that is because most likely these screw holes right here is not as far apart from each other that they should be. So instead there is something working against the piece right here. So that's not very good and looks like shit to be honest. Why didn't I fix this? Because there might be a pickup swap in this guitar in the future. So I didn't bother to do anything until I have some pickups to put in here. To be honest, I only played this guitar a couple of times since 2018 when I bought it, so this guitar is sitting most of the time in this case. Now, this is the back of the guitar, and uh, as I said, this is a slim taper neck right here, and uh, we got the back of the headstock right there, we got the serial number right there, uh, Grover tuners, nothing, you know, really fancy. Uh, this is a mahogany neck, mahogany body right here. This body is um, ultra uh, modern weight relief. So this guitar body, this guitar is really light. Uh, I will put in the uh, the weight of this guitar in uh, uh, right here. 
This is uh, the cavity right here. And you know, as this is a 2018, there's nothing else to expect, expect than a PCB right here. Um, I'm not really a fan of the PCBs. Um, so uh, we can see that we have, um, trying to fix a good light here. We have the uh, Gibson uh, parts right here soldered directly onto the PCB. You know, you know, guys, all this kind of stuff. We've got the ground wire right there. Um, push pull. This is a coil split right there. So yeah, that's pretty much what it is. And here we have the uh, the toggle switch right there. It's uh, just a, a Gibson toggle switch. However, I'm not a fan of this because I, you know, I, I don't think this is the way to go. More modern stuff right here. So I don't know if you can see that, but it's actually quite a lot of dust in there. Maybe that could be fastened right there. Yeah, it's, it's ac actually glued on there somehow. That's kind of cool. So yeah, that's pretty much what it is, guys. Uh, nothing fancy to see here at all. And what do we have here on the output of the uh, bridge pickup right here? We have, uh, that's in the circuit, 8.0, well, 8K, I would say. We have the neck pickup is 7.68K. And the middle, just for fun, is 3.92. So as you can see there in the bridge position, um, this, is a, this is a low output pickup, even though, well, it signs, sounds okay, but you know, yeah, this is nothing for the, the, the you know, the hard rock metal, fancy guys or girls for that matters this is uh, strictly for blues and jazz and rock and roll so to speak yeah this is very low output right there now um let's go ahead and see what it sounds like with the classic 57s pickups with more heavy distortion sounds and clean of course I'm not a huge fan of this sound, but let's try it out and see what it sounds like. In the room, that is.
Tschüss.